The name of the book is The Genius Machine. The 11 steps that turn raw ideas into brilliance. This is a book that is very clear in its steps proposed on how to turn a raw idea into brilliance. I finished reading the book, I prepared my presentation, and last night I watched a little bit of a reality show, which I have never done in my life, and the reality show was called Pitch Man with Billy Mays. And the whole episode was about people trying to take raw ideas and turning them into marketable, sellable products. I thought of that and this book together. As always, I will read you many of the quotes from the book. It's on the front page of the handout. And then I will give you the key content. My work is to help people think. Oh, I like that. As an entrepreneur, I learned about being creative, on time, and within a budget. Again, great idea. Creative, on time, and within a budget. Now, he uses an old English word, and I asked Bob Morris, and he's the uh, guru of wisdom here, and I'm grateful, with the Enleophon, innovations are always developed with the understanding that it's tough to get new ideas accepted. So this is a book filled with obvious but brilliant insight. It is tough to get new ideas accepted. Yeah. Drop down to the quote from page 14. <clears throat> to help you develop your appetite for making distinctions, you might consider spending a day in a museum just looking at various artists' use of white. Renoir frequently used white to show the dazzle effect of bright sun. Van Gogh's whites, on the other hand, are like the rest of his colors, swirls of high energy with the underpainting always peeking through. And the next quote, there are no vanilla ideas. There is no plain old white or black. Everything is dazzle and movement. Uniqueness is there waiting to be witnessed and captured. Creative thought is about looking at what everyone is looking at or has looked at for years and seeing something new. Seeing, as opposed to looking, is the beginning of thinking. Now people ask me, Randy, what do you get out of all these books you read and present? I can now tell you that I have a tangible idea from this book. He recommends buying four different kinds of vanilla ice cream <laughs> and eating them one right after the other and thinking about the differences. That sounds like a great practical idea. <laughs> Why four? Why not seven? That's right. Search read and discover what others have said or are saying. When it comes to the conversation of ideas, we will always be coming into the meeting late. So we must do the best we can to catch up, to find out what's already been said. Then we can bring our ideas to light in an informed context. And he quotes Zinser from On Writing Well, great quote, it is impossible for a muddy thinker to write good English. Now, he invented some imaginary projects as the framework for the book, and they included designing an eco-friendly toaster. It was solar-powered with a little gizmo you put in the window. Finding the best way to educate children, and developing a way to stem the flow of talented people leaving our organization. So he imagined these three issues and those who provided the framework for the book. And chapter 11, advocacy, once you come up with the idea, you've got to be the idea's advocate. The greater the span of departure, the more difficult the persuasion, you've got to change somebody's mind, attitude, or behavior. Am I supporting the adoption of my ideas? These are not easy steps but they are very good steps. The genius machine, the 11 steps that turn raw ideas into brilliance. Hope you found it useful.